What's today's challenge? Blocks nine and 10 for our vintage boardwalk quilt. Hey Kimberbell friends, Kristen Som here. We're continuing on our vintage boardwalk quilt. And today's challenge, we are gonna do blocks nine and 10, which are the flip-flops on page 13 of our Kimberbell booklet. So today we will need, um, for each block, there's two different blocks. For the first one, we're gonna use this light brown, tan, beige fabric. And like I mentioned in the other video, there's two of these, one with a darker print and one with a little bit lighter. We're again gonna use the darker one. So you can always check to make sure you're using the right one at the front of the booklet. It'll tell you flip flops and then it'll show a picture of the specific fabric. So our main fabric is six and a half by eight and a half. And as always, I back it with fusible mesh stabilizer. And for this block, we also need the pink. This is so pretty, I love this. It's got little stars on it. Um, the pink fabric in four and a half by six for the soles and then a small piece make sure you get it on the white ones it's hard to tell which side is the fusible mesh and which side is the fabric um, so four and a half by three for the straps and then um, don't forget your batting i cut my batting for to for this one five by seven and then for our threads um, I'm going to use the pink for the satin stitch around the flip-flop and then I've chosen orange for my quilting on that block. And then for our other block, we need um, this bright blue, also that flower design. I didn't even know it came in this bright blue. How pretty is that? I love it. Um, and that's six and a half by eight and a half. And then our fabric for the soles is that green doodly flowery fabric. And that is four and a half by six. And again, the strap. So the strap is four and a half by three. And it's that white hound's tooth. And then our batting five by seven. And for that one, I'm gonna use the, the lime green for the outline satin stitch around the flip-flop. And I'm gonna use this light gray. It's like the medium one. I think there's three grays in the um, thread pack that you get as an optional for this quilt. And um, I'm gonna use this one. It is called Sterling, if I'm reading that right, Sterling. And I'm gonna use that for my quilting. So as for the quilting, I've chosen geometric at this point. I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna make sure that it, it works right, but I pulled it up on embroidery software and I just bought it this morning and it looks really cute because it's got like a star design. So I thought that would be fun with the flowers of the, uh, flip-flops the flowers we add on later by the way so for this design our we are going to finish the block off to four and a half by six and a half so that means we want a quilting design that is four by six remember you can use any quilting design that you want as long as it's size four by six and four by six is a hard one to find but Kimberbell has it so I'm going to do the geometric in four by six this will be blocks nine and ten and let's get started Quick note, no double hooping needed on this one. The, the whole quilting and the design will fit in a five by seven hoop.
Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love that. Very pretty. This will be a fun one. Thank you.